In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you through upgrading to the latest version of Windows 11 on any computer. It doesn't matter whether your computer is officially supported for Windows 11 or not. This method works on both supported and unsupported PCs. Let's dive in. First, right click on your start button and select disk management. This will open the disk management window. From there, click on action and then create VHD. Browse to your C drive. Create a new folder called VHD. Open the folder and save it there with the file name like VHD. Set the virtual hard disk size to 16 GB by changing the units from MB to GB. Then click OK. Wait patiently for the virtual disk to be created. You will see a new disk appear in the disk management window, but it won't be initialized yet. Right click on it. Select Initialize Disk. Ensure GPT is selected and click OK. Next, right click on the unallocated space. Select New Simple Volume and keep clicking Next until you reach the volume label field. Name it VUSB for Virtual USB. Then click Finish. Your virtual drive is now set up. Close Disk Management and head over to File Explorer to confirm you have a 16 gig virtual USB drive under this PC. Now open your browser and search for Rufus. Download the standard version from the official website. Scroll to the download section and download the standard version. Avoid the portable version. And once it's downloaded, open the file. You will be prompted to allow Rufus to check for application updates online. Click Yes to proceed. Rufus should automatically detect your virtual USB drive, but if not, select it manually from the drop down menu. Click on the little arrow next to select and choose Download. This will bring up an option to download a Windows 11 ISO image. Leave the latest release selected and click Continue to each step, making sure to match the language. To the one currently installed on your system. To find your system's language, type CMD in the search bar and open command prompt as an administrator. Type system info. Find str b c system local. Match your selection in Rufus to this language so you can keep your files and apps doing the upgrade. Once you have selected your language in other settings, tick download using a web browser. Then click download. Downloading through your web browser is usually more reliable. After the ISO download is complete, select the recently downloaded ISO file with the Rufus app.
you can change the volume label to something like win 11. Click start and make sure all the necessary boxes are checked to keep the process smooth. Click OK on the prompt to continue with the process. Rufus will then write the Windows 11 installation files to your virtual USB drive. When it's done, the status will change to ready. Close Rufus. Navigate to this PC and double click on the Windows 11 drive that appears under Devices and Drives. Launch the setup file from there and follow the on-screen instructions. You'll be prompted to choose how you want to download updates. Select Not Right Now to speed things up. Accept the terms and conditions. And then decide whether to keep your personal files and apps or start afresh. Finally, click install to begin upgrading to the latest version of Windows 11. Once the upgrade is complete, your virtual USB drive will no longer be visible in File Explorer. If you decide to roll back to Windows 10 or an earlier version of Windows 11, go to Settings, Windows Update. Advanced Options Recovery and choose the option to go back. Remember, this option is only available for a limited time after upgrading.